So hello YouTubers. This is Mike Cayley 7 and you are watching the Mike Cayley 7 channel. I'm also known as Papa Bear. Because I was one of the people who thought of the idea, goofy though it may seem to some, of having a competition that I call it to ride motorcycles in the cold. Polar bear challenge. And then Chuck, suburban rider, he said, no, don't call it a competition. Uh, legality stuff, gotta call it a challenge, no prizes. Okay, fine. So we made up this thing and Chuck was instrumental in getting it off the ground and then he was instrumental in making it a success. Navy Thomas 8 was instrumental, Loud Pipes was instrumental, and now it's a thing. Now people do it. It's amazing to me. I broke my leg trying to do the polar bear challenge. I'm getting ready for it. Just practicing. I broke my leg. I got overconfident. Got complacent. Anyway, I'm totally off topic there. So, uh, if you may have seen my last few vids, I was talking about change, and then uh, made me think of um, this idea. I could do a whole series of one-word topics and get all philosophical up in your grill, as they say now with the, the young kids in the YouTubes. So. Here I go. Riding and a vlogging. Today, I would like to talk about love. Love topic. It's April. Love is in the air. So let's talk about love. The different kinds of love. And my experience with love. Because, you know, I'm 43 now. I've had a little bit of experience with love. I do know what love is. I think. I'm actually not really sure about that. I do think I know what love is. What happened over here? Okay. So, um, obviously there is uh, a distinction you can make, or there are many distinctions you can make between familial love and friend love and romantic love. So I'll start out with familial love. Uh, that's a love, you know, that you developed because you were born with these people. You've known them your whole life. They're genetically related to you. They're similar to you in ways you can't even describe. Like my brothers and my sisters. And then I have stepbrothers and stepsisters, but I don't consider them stepbrothers or stepsisters, really. They're just brothers and sisters. And that love goes deep, and in my opinion, it's, uh, it's unbreakable. I have a, a brother who's in prison, and even though he's in prison, and I, I don't talk to him a whole lot because of the situation he's in, and I feel bad. I, I still love him. I, I saw a program where this mother... It was the mother of John Wayne Gacy. Uh, she she still loved him, even though he did all those terrible things. She still loved him. I mean, how can you stop? Familiar love is, is probably the, the, the strongest love. The most un, un, unbreakable. Then you've got uh, friendship love. You develop that over time. And I think a lot of the friends that you make when you're younger there's a, a better chance that you're going to keep them throughout your life because they know you the best, they've known you the longest and uh, you have those bonding experiences in life with a lot of them because you both came up at the same time so it's kind of natural to think that you're going to have that relationship last longer it's deeper and going. after that kind of love you got uh, puppy love and for me, puppy love 
was, uh, you know, I, I liked this girl and didn't tell her because I was afraid and that kind of thing. Made a little kid love. And then, oh boy, then there's the love love. And here's the thing, this is the gist of it. The love that I felt when I was a teenager, 13 through 20, basically, maybe a little bit older, that love was the strongest, most passionate, most uh, addictive kind of love, almost like a drug, out of all the different loves. It burned most brightly, it was most passionate, and uh, it was the most unforgettable. That kind of love can lead people to do crazy, crazy things. Kill themselves, for example. Sacrifice themselves, which is honorable. So, I think, for me, that kind of love was awesome, but I've noticed in the years since, like when I was about 24, maybe, I was passionately in love with this girl she was from Italy, uh, and everything was going great, and one day we were hugging, and I was looking into her eyes, and all of a sudden, all of my emotion turned off. It's the freakiest thing I'd ever experienced. It was like a, a, a switch. And I couldn't make it come back. It was weird. And I've noticed in, in the intervening years after that, I, I have loved. I have been passionate, yes. I have been even giddy, but I have never been able to recapture the feeling that I had of being in love when I was in my early 20s, my late teens, it just never burned as, as brightly, it's never been quite as powerful ever since. So uh, I think it's because of a physical thing, it's like the dopamine level in your brain or whatever can only take so much. So. I think for me, my brain was just kind of wrung out, you know, it, it couldn't produce the level of dopamine to give me that high. I've had passion, yes, but not like that. And, you know, in a way I'm glad for it, because that was a very hectic, crazy, haywire time for me. And now, I don't really have that, and I'm glad. I, I like being more stable and level. And plus, it's probably helped by the Zoloft. The, the super highs and the super lows, I'd rather not have them. I'd rather live in the happy middle. So, although I do love, I love my girlfriend. Heck, we lived together, for goodness sakes. And, uh, no, I, I've, I don't c count it any less deep or important than the loves I had when I was younger. But it's not that weird, crazy, passionate, giddy thing that drives you insane. I think part of it's maturity too. You know not to go down certain roads because you've already been down them and you know where they lead. With the passion thing. At least in my experience. And they say, you know, you're lucky to have loved and lost rather than never have loved at all. And I agree. I don't regret any of it. Now that I've lived it, I've lived and I've loved that kind of love, that super passionate one, nah, can keep it. It's like a roller coaster ride, you know? I used to love roller coasters. Now, I get on a roller coaster and I have that, uh, what do you call it, vertigo for like 20 minutes after. I feel like I'm still going up and down. It's, it sucks. So there you go. I still love my family, obviously. I love my friends that I've known for years. I love my girlfriend. All that kind of stuff. I think, I don't know, you just get a thicker skin, I guess, when you get older. If that makes any sense. Like when my first doggy died, my dog Buster died in 2005. And that really, really hurt. I mean, that was, oh my God. I will never love an animal like that ever again. I just won't. I can't. I won't let myself. It's too damn painful. Dogs die. And they die horribly. So, nope, I'm not doing it. That kind of thing. You know, you, you learn from experience. It's not 
necessarily an age thing, but you do learn. That was an ugly turn. That was a very ugly turn. Oh, what a nice day, though. So there's my little views on love. Love. It's a good thing. In good measure. Don't overdo it if you can. Or when you're younger, yeah, overdo it. But don't don't overdo it to the point where you're killing yourself. I mean, God, that's ridiculous. Young people don't realize it gets better. It really does. At least in my case. I noticed in my father's case, too. He lived to be 74 years old, and I'm telling you, he mellowed. He was happier when he was older. And that's my advice to you, is uh, don't be afraid. Love. Uh, I'll talk to you later, folks.